Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live in a country where the concept of homelessness seems almost non-existent? Japan surfacing with a phenomenon that is both remarkable and, according to some, almost unheard of. Recent statistics show an astonishingly low rate of homelessness, just a speck on the radar of around 0%. Yeah, you heard it right, zero. Sounds too good to be true, right? In the intricate tapestry of global demographics, the definition of homelessness is as diverse as the nation that grapples with this complex issue. Some governments label those living on the streets as homeless, while others extend the definition to include those seeking refuge in shelters or navigating the precarious path of returning home during challenging times. It's a spectrum that encompasses unconventional abodes from caravans to makeshift shelters. The plot thickens as we journey beyond the surface, questioning the accuracy of these figures. Are we witnessing a genuine triumph in tackling homelessness, or is there a dark and disturbing reality of what is really going on? To uncover the roots, we need to rewind to the burst of Japan's real estate bubble in 1990. This triggered a chain reaction plummeting house prices, a construction sector collapse, widespread layoffs, and the emergence of homelessness. A phenomenon unseen since post-World War II. While the government was initially slow to respond, action was eventually taken between 2018 and 2020. During this period, Japan saw a 12% reduction in homelessness, dropping from 4,555 to 3,992 individuals in a population of over 125 million. That's essentially 0% of Japanese population. Now, compare this to other countries of similar size, for example, Philippines with a population of around 117 million and a homelessness rate of around 3.8%, or Russia with 145 million people and a homelessness rate of almost 3.5%. Japan seems to be on top of their game, however, interpreting their figures is tricky. Yes, assistance programs played a role, but an unexpected ally entered the scene, the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic not only prompted worldwide lockdowns, but also impacted homelessness in Japan. Government decrees and nationwide lockdowns influenced the statistics, making it challenging to separate the effect of targeted programs from the broader consequences of the pandemic. So, Japan's unique approach to the homelessness is a complex tale involving economic crises, government interventions, and the unexpected twist of a global health crisis. First, let's start off with the official view, and why things may not be the way the government wants to portray them. In May 2023, Japan's Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare announced the findings of its annual study on homelessness, focusing on parks and riverside areas. The study conducted in January revealed 3,065 homeless individuals, marking a decrease of 383 from the previous year and the lowest count since the study's initiation in 2003. Breaking down the demographics, approximately 91% were men, around 6% were women, and the rest had visually indeterminate sex due to clothing or other factors. Osaka led with 888 observed homeless individuals, followed by Tokyo with 661, and Kanagawa with 454. On the surface, this seems like a commendably low homelessness rate, considering Japan's total population of around 125 million. However, nuances in the study's methodology may have led to figures lower than the actual reality. Firstly, the study concentrated on parks and riverside areas where the majority of homeless people in Japan spend their nights. While the number of individuals sleeping on the streets or in urban environments is relatively small compared to other countries, excluding such areas could result in underreporting. Secondly, the data collection method involved local government workers visiting sites in their territories and reporting the number of homeless people they observed. This approach might miss those out of sight or absent during the visit, potentially leading to an incomplete count. Despite potential methodological limitations, a decrease in homelessness could be considered positive, assuming consistency in methodology and diligence. However, the decline prompts questions about the reasons behind it, whether improved social support and economic conditions enabled more homeless individuals to secure housing, or if it reflects a somber reality of homeless individuals passing away. So, while the proud declaration of only around 3,000 homeless people found in Japan may seem optimistic, it's likely premature for the Japanese government to declare the homelessness issue resolved. The dark underbelly of homelessness in Japan tells a tale of economic shifts, cultural nuances, and a hidden population struggling on the fringes of society. 
Over the past decades, Japan has witnessed a startling surge in part-time and temporary workers, a trend catalyzed by the partial legalization of temporary and contract work in 1986, eventually reaching full legalization in 1999. According to Japan's Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications, the numbers are staggering, with 22 million part-time and temporary workers in 2019, a significant jump from 17 million in 2011. For many of these workers, employment comes and goes, and wages often hover around the minimum, which is, as of 2023 in Tokyo, stands at $9 per hour, higher than the US, which is around $7, but lower than the UK, which is $11. Now we know earning minimum wage is still something, but in an expensive city like Tokyo, people are barely making it. The consequence is a struggle to afford stable housing, aggravated by the financial burden placed on renters who must navigate upfront costs encompassing deposits, key money, and at least 3 months rent. The facets of homelessness in Japan extend into both visible and invisible realms, with both groups remaining less visible than their counterparts in other countries. This subdued presence is intricately woven into the fabric of Japanese culture, a culture rooted in Confucian values, emphasizing loyalty, justice, shame, refined manners, modesty, and honor. For the homeless in Japan, this cultural emphasis often translates into feelings of shame and a reluctance to draw attention. This is truly especially for men who make up a majority of the homeless population. In Japanese culture, a man is supposed to be financially stable with his head held high. Not meeting the standard means your countrymen consider you less than human. A terrible fate, isn't it? Interestingly, Japanese homeless individuals in adherence to cultural norms rarely approach pedestrians for money. Instead, they strategically position their makeshift shelters in remote locales like riverbanks, minimizing their visibility in crowded urban areas. However, within this hidden landscape exists a population even less visible, the Internet Cafe Refugees. This group, estimated at around 15,000 as of latest data, seeks refuge in fast food establishments and internet cafes due to the absence of stable residences. The COVID-19 pandemic laid bare this concealed reality, prompting Tokyo authorities to offer hotel rooms to these internet cafe refugees until the state of emergency subsided. These cyber-homeless individuals, as they're collectively known, often use the address of internet cafes on job applications to conceal their unconventional living arrangements. The financial constraints they face drive them to internet cafes, highlighting the stark economic challenges faced by many in Japan. In the midst of these challenges, some organizations actively strive to alleviate homelessness. The Sukuroi Tokyo Fund, for instance, directs its efforts towards providing housing, employment, and a sense of belonging to the homeless. Sukuroi House, a shelter under the responsibility, repurposes abandoned homes into havens for the homeless. Their initiative, Shio no Michi, a cafe that employs homeless individuals, serves as a testament to their commitment to making a tangible difference. Yet, despite these commendable efforts, the issue of homelessness remains largely obscured, demanding greater awareness and concerted systemic solutions. While organizations like the Sukuroi Tokyo Fund make strides in providing direct assistance, broader solutions must address the economic and financial issues at the heart of homelessness in Japan. Japan stands at a crossroads, confronting the challenge of bringing this issue into the spotlight. The government and humanitarian organizations must prioritize comprehensive and sustainable solutions not just to alleviate the symptoms, but to address the root causes. This involves not only tackling economic disparities, but also reconsidering cultural norms that contribute to the invisibility and shame surrounding homelessness. As the nation grapples with a multifaceted issue of homelessness, a holistic approach is crucial. This involves fostering an environment where stable employment opportunities are accessible to all, affordable housing is reality, and cultural stigmas are dismantled. The resilience of the human spirit shines through in initiatives like the Sukuroi Tokyo Fund, demonstrating that change is possible when individuals and organizations unite with a common purpose. The world is slowly opening its eyes to Japan's homelessness crisis. The call for action echoes not just within the borders of the nation, but resonates globally. The plight of the homeless is a universal concern, and the lessons learned in addressing this issue in Japan can inform strategies and policies worldwide. It's a call to recognize the shared humanity that transcends borders and to work collectively towards a future where homelessness is not just reduced, but eradicated, leaving no one behind.